Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. On today's episode we're looking at cookies. Cookies are just bits of information stored by your web browser to identify you to different websites. There are several different types of cookies. Session cookies remember what you are doing during this session. They are lost when the browser is closed. These are used for remembering things like which items you've put in your virtual shopping cart, which is especially useful if you open many tabs from the same site and buy different items in different tabs. Somehow they all end up in the same shopping cart and that's part of the magic of cookies. A persistent cookie stays for longer and has a specific expiration date set by the website creator. Usually quite short, like 10 to 20 minutes for important secure sites like banking, longer for other e-commerce type sites and longer again for simple sites that you're logged into. A cookie is usually just an identifier, a reference for the website's database. When I go to a website, one of the first things that website is going to do is see if I've been there before. So it asks my browser if I have a cookie for that website. If it does, it reads that cookie identifier and looks it up in its database. Google might ask my browser and my browser says, yes, I've been here before. And my cookie is number 12345555555. And Google looks that up in its database and goes, oh, your mark at techdoctor.com.au. Nice to see you again. That means you want to see the site in English with the locale set to Australia and the background set to dark. Without that cookie, I'd be logging in every time I went to a different page. If I hadn't been to the site before or I cleared my cookies, it would have to set a new cookie so that it remembered me next time. And when I logged in, it would remember that too. For security reasons, a cookie can only be read by the website that created it. Only the Google website can see the Google cookie and therefore get my Google identifier. Things get a bit interesting when you get a third party cookie. A third party cookie is created when a site you are on embeds content from another website, usually in the form of advertising which puts its own cookie on your computer. These are also called tracking cookies and allow advertisers to track us from site to site. Another reason you see ads for the same items on different sites. It's third party cookies that have given cookies a bad name. And there certainly are some privacy implications, but many of those concerns are going away. If you are concerned and ultimately want less targeted ads, you can adjust your cookie settings. Start by going to the three dots menu in Chrome and then select settings. Then select privacy and security over on the left hand side and then cookies and other site data in the middle. Here you have options to allow all cookies, block third party cookies in incognito mode and you can learn more about incognito mode up here. Block third party cookies entirely or block cookies entirely which is not recommended. It is worth noting that Google plans to start blocking third-party cookies in Chrome by default as of 2022. You can also set the option to clear cookies when you quit Chrome or to send a do not track request. This latter one is a new idea but is currently handled differently by different sites. There's an option below this to see all cookies and site data where you can remove individual cookies or all of them at once but be prepared to log back in to those sites. I really only recommend removing cookies if you are having an issue with a website and specifically with logging into it. Other than that, I say, enjoy your cookies. Question of the day, are you worried about cookies? Have I set your mind at ease? Are you going to turn off third party cookies or have you already? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can click the logo down here to subscribe to the YouTube channel, or up here to subscribe to our mailing list. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.